we're back guys and it's interesting times here in Tamarin South. Now I've, uh, I've been running the city for a little while now, for about a year. Uh, it was about, it was year 10. Yeah, it's year 11 now. And I've just been trying to get the whole thing, you know, settled and working and not having any problems. And as you can see, everything's, everything's in the black at the moment, no issues. So let's um, let's take a little look around, and I want to take you through some of the issues that we had, and how I fixed them, and some of the issues that we still have, and how I'm like thinking about addressing those. So, first of all, let's talk money. Let's talk money. And as you can see, we are now making a nice, healthy profit. We're making one to two million a day, um, and that's coming from the electronics. As you can see, we're shipping out TVs and computers and all that kind of stuff. So um, all I've done is just turned on some of these uh, trade depots, swapped out some of the uh, some of the coal lots that were there for things like uh, plastic and alloy. So we're importing those, and then we're shipping out the computers and the TVs, and that's all beautiful. So we don't have to worry about money anymore. Excellent. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, 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 yeah. I, I still wasn't, you know, remember I was playing around with this area down here and I, I still wasn't happy about it. So I, I've ended up putting in, um, just putting in a ferry dock. And um, I like that. I, I kind of, yeah, I kind of like that. And that's going to encourage um, a few more ships coming in here, which is no bad thing because I want this to be all nice and busy. And and this is a busy little port, or it's starting to be a busy little port. So we've just got one ship going out there. But they tend to come in kind of batches sometimes. You'll get like two or three ships come through, with, with also with ferries and stuff. It gets very, very hectic. Right, let's take a look over here. Um, because this is all kind of very, very interesting. I had a question. Somebody said, are you going to leave the uh, the Mega Towers just as like like very low or are you going to build them up these are going to be built up these will be built up and they will have crowns now i've just been playing around with them a little bit uh i put the, they're, they're both the same they've got an education level and then uh, a medium apartment level and uh, a, a high wealth um, apartment level because I've been trying to get all of this working. I put in all the ground scrubbers, and they've got complete coverage of this whole area over here now. Uh, but the like everything's fine except one thing, right? And that one thing is tech. Tech is basically a nightmare, which I kind of knew it was going to be, but you know these things are sent to try us. So let's take a look. Let's let's pause this for a second and let's take a look at tech. So. Go to education, bring up the tech map, and as you can see, we've got some nice bright pink pink lines running around here, right? Uh, the problem is that we're only just filling up these buildings that you can see, and you can see some of these are only getting up to yellow; they're not going green, uh, and like this one down here, like hasn't got anything, and these buildings over here, these very quickly uh, went abandoned, and I just left them um, because I wanted to like see how the how the city was when I kind of got it like settled down and balanced out. Now I could replace these, but I'm thinking that we're gonna have a problem providing enough tech for the amount of industry and electronics, and this is the problem. Like, it, like, if you were doing just industry, I don't think we'd have a problem. But doing the industry and the electronics together, these ele electronics factories absolutely guzzle the tech down. They really do. So, I, I'm really not sure. I've put in an extra university. So, we're now, we've got like 6,000 students in here attending university. And, you know, we can barely keep this bunch of buildings alive. So... I'm not entirely sure how we're going to be able to, you know, like, roll this out to, like, all of this area um, without making, like, a few compromises and, um, and working very hard, basically. So what I'm thinking of doing, this area over here, I'm thinking we, we change this to be residential. So 
do what I was going to do originally and, and have this part as a residential area, which is not a bad idea, actually, because if I bring up the wind map, where's the wind map? There's the wind map. Um, if we look at the wind map, you can see that the wind is blowing in that direction. So down here is a good place to have our residential. So I think we pop in some residential and we, we do it the same way you know a couple of medium density some low density just to have kind of some stuff going on and then we'll put in some more industrial over this side to try and pad it out but we're gonna have to start padding this out with buildings that that don't use up tech now down here in our little mountain um, hidey hole We've got, uh, as I said, four universities. Now, I can probably squeeze in down here, um, like, like maybe one, two, may, like maybe two or three more universities to, uh, to try and provide some uh, additional tech for some additional buildings. But you know, we're going to be fighting against it. The tech is really going to be the limiting factor in this area. So there you go. That's that. Now I put the um, the city hall in here, and I had to put the um, the upgrade in for utilities because obviously I knocked it down when it was it was out here somewhere. So we've got that. Um, I've been tinkering around with uh, a, a few of the roads. Not major changes. Like I said, little bit of a change down here. The little bit of a change over here. I hooked this up uh, just to facilitate the traffic getting in and out. Um, traffic is absolutely fine as you can see you know there's a there's a few cars here but that's about it yeah so let me put the roads on so you can see right so yeah <laughs> like no traffic issues but i didn't expect that there would be there you go no no worries uh what else what else what else um you know i think that's pr oh no 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 ah yeah i wasn't getting workers over here so i put in a bus station so that the um, the workers can actually get over here and get to these factories, and I put uh, another bus station in over here, and I, you know I think that that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to start using other buildings to kind of pad this out and make it kind of look like a busy industrial place, but not necessarily have quite as many industrial buildings as I would have liked. Um, and again, you know, we can, like, like, let me go back to the tech map and I'll just show you very quickly. Um, these buildings uh, take like 630 tech max. These are the, uh, the low, low density high tech. Uh, but if you go over to the medium, then they're up to like 1400 tech, so they're like twice as much. So you could have two of these buildings next to each other for the same, for the same tech cost is like one of these medium density uh, buildings like, like this one and the like high density pff, forget about it there's like there's like no chance that we can uh, we can manage those with this uh, with this tech situation and it makes me wonder what the hell we're going to do uh, over in this area because like over here we can hide the universities we can bury them in the mountain but we're not going to be able to do that over in Anaconda Bay. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scratching my head and wondering, like, what the hell we're going to do over there. Um, and I am kind of wondering if, if we maybe do something that's maybe more commercial. So we'll have the docks and we'll have some industrial stuff, which probably is going to be 100% electronics based because electronics isn't going to require any tech. Um, the, the problem is, it's where you mix them up, right? I could have all these electronics factories running quite happily without any tech. The problem is that the tech that I need for the, for the industrial buildings gets eaten up by these electronics factories. So it's, it's kind of an either-or situation. Um, mixing them up, uh, it's, not, it's not great. Anyway, so I was thinking it's probably time that we... Um, we ventured over here and start putting the docks in so that we start developing this side of, uh, of the region. Uh, but before we can do that, uh, there's a couple of buildings that we do need to put back in. And those buildings are the, uh, the Trade HQ. 
right now the question is where we're going to put it now I could put it kind of in this area and that's kind of what I'm favoring at the moment or I could put it like back here in this little area here which um, which also is, is kind of not bad let's just let's just have a little look at this let's turn this off for a second um, let's t let's actually let's turn that off for a second I'm like, where do we want to put this in and I am debating whether I'm gonna have any more of these buildings in mmm don't know don't know I'm I see I'm thinking that the, the trade the trade HQ probably there maybe put another one of these buildings over here yeah that's kind of what I'm thinking about well you know what let's pop them in we'll have a look we'll see what we think you guys can give me your comments so now like, how do I want to do this um, you know I think we're gonna I think we're gonna put in some roads because I want this thing I think let's go to regional here we go come on um see I'm thinking I want that building kind of something like that right so let's let's just pop that road in and we'll pop the building in and we'll see what it looks like so I'm thinking about there right and it's a nice big building fully upgraded how does how does how does that grab me yeah I like that that's about the right height as well I think because what I want is kind of the height coming down from from the mega towers to these and then you know gradually sort of the height coming down as we as we go across which I yeah I kind of like how that's working right so um, let's finish putting in a couple of roads for this so I want um, I'm gonna want a road going up the side of that building like mm, like that and then I'm just gonna curve this or I would if I'd hooked it up properly come on there we go I just hook that up like kind of sort of down there ish we'll extend this across there a little bit right let's see what additional buildings we've got to throw in so we want to try and create a little bit of a little bit of an area going on down here we've got three nice big buildings that we can put in so we've got the electronics division which I, I must admit I'm not the biggest fan of that building these two I quite like because they're kind of blocky and they match this quite well this one uh, I don't know I'm not such a big fan of that I might even put it like back there or something yeah I might actually I might just put that back there and then this one maybe there and then this one maybe on this side like there oh yeah 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 that's that's not too bad that's not too bad at all oh yep I'm liking that one guys I'm liking that one all right well I'm thinking then that we we add another one of these over here now this does need to be placed kind of in the right place so from there to there it needs to be about here and facing in this direction so I'm thinking we need to put a street about um, no man get off stop it let's get the straight road tool I'm thinking uh, like about there-ish yeah that's I think that's I, th I think that's about right you're right well so we'll plop that in so here we go and high wealth high density building four and we'll pop you there now oh yeah I, I forgot to mention I've had to put in some additional parks around these two buildings uh, because the the land value is getting pulled down by all of these um, these electronics factories being around it so yeah I've had to uh, 
I've had to bump the land value up by putting these parts in. And I'm going to have to probably do the same thing over here. But we'll kind of see. We'll kind of see. Right. Um, yeah, I'm happy with the spacing. That that looks pretty even from, from there to there. And I think that's going to look... That's going to look kind of nice. So that the height's going to be coming down across here. But it's not like it's it's not like dead even. I don't want it to be dead even. And that building's going to be sitting just behind this one. That's kind of nice as well. Because depending on, on like where you look at it, sometimes this will be this side of it. And sometimes it'll be this side of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, now... Now, the, the one thing that I haven't addressed yet is the uh, the railway, and that's because I just cannot decide exactly what I'm going to do with it. So, I'm just going to leave it. And, like, we will have a big railway episode coming up in the future. Right, that done, let's hop over to uh, Anaconda Bay and we'll start throwing some stuff in. Right, so here we are in Tamarind South 2. Now, I've got to say, it's... Um, this doesn't actually look too bad from over here. Not too bad at all. It's a shame that the breakwater isn't in properly. You can see bits of it, like scuttle over here. You can see bits of it, but you can't see like the whole thing. And this isn't properly transformed into a bridge and stuff. No, it's a shame. But like I said, we're not going to be viewing this from over here. We're going to be viewing it from over on on, on this plot. So um, so yeah, we'll bear that in mind as well. Okay, so here's our uh, original plot. Let me show it to you. Let me bring up the water layer. Uh, where the hell's the water layer? There it is. Right, so this is our original plot. So we can't build any, any further than this edge. And then uh, we will be able to build all the way over, like, right, right over here. We could put the Berlin Tower on top of this or something. Oh, I might do that in Tamarind North. Oh, ho, 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 ho. might do it both, actually. That would be kind of an interesting thing to see. Huh. Oh, oh, see, I'm getting ideas already. Right, let me tell you what. I'm, I'm, I've kind of been looking at this for a couple of minutes, and I've been kind of thinking, like, how am I going to do this? I'll, I'll tell you what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking is to have uh, some, some residential back here, uh, so I'm thinking of putting like four mega towers across the back here, and then um, I'm thinking of doing maybe a commercial thing in the centre, have some 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 nice commercial buildings, and then down this corner maybe do a bit of a touristy thing just down here, and then limit the docks to sort of up to maybe here. Right, so and then do like an electronics thing around this side. So that's kind of what I'm thinking of at the moment. So you know what? Let's kick off with uh, with the docks and see what we can do. Because what I want to do is put the docks in. Then we'll jump back over here and we'll we'll put the roads in that we need to put in, and we'll see how it looks. That's kind of what I'm thinking at the moment. So um, how the hell? Are we going to do this? <laughs> um, right. First of all, going to go to regional streets. I'm going to do this slightly differently to the way I've done this. I think. Think. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so, yeah, I want my arc tool. Am I going to... Yeah, I, I think I probably am. So, I'm going to run a road like... Um, oh. If it'll do what I want it to do, go away. Come out a bit like that. There we go. All right, so around there, and then along there, around this corner, a little bit tighter than that. Then down here. Uh, yeah, into that corner. Oh, 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 oh. Round here. I'm, as you can see, I'm just basically following the uh, following the the coast round, round there, round there, right. Now remember that the dock area is only going to be this part. So, yeah, I'm going to run this a little bit further around here. Ooh, ooh can, I get, can I get any kind of decent curve to go like all the way around here? 
there we go okay right we'll live with that and we'll see so what I'm going to do I'm going to go to the trade depots and we're going to start off with putting trade ports in and and like kind of see how stuff looks so um, I think we're going to want one there and now I'm going to need to put the 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 regional coastlines in so that we can actually plop these things um, I, now I was thinking at one point about about building a dock out here but I don't know about that idea now I'm, th I'm thinking we just follow the coast because I think I think it's probably gonna look nice having this this area that the ships can sail into and sail around let's, let's have a look actually at the um, the regional waterways and see which way the waterways go right so the ships are going to be sailing into this around so if I was to put a dock in the middle wouldn't be a very good plan because I'd have to have a hole in the middle and it, oh, it's all going to be horrendously complicated okay <laughs>